It's no secret that there are people who have achieved enormous levels of success. Whether it was in the world of business, politics, or art, we cannot help but to ask ourselves, what is it that makes them so different? Why were they able to break out of mediocrity and achieve success? Answering this question is no simple task, but let me share a concept that will help you understand what makes these people stand out from the crowd. The 5-Hour Rule This powerful mantra will be key into launching you to the position you desire, empower you to achieve the results in victories that will set you apart as a successful person. We have already mentioned this previously, but allow me to emphasize the following idea. Working hard and for longer periods of time is not the same as working intelligently and effectively. The five hour rule is based on this idea. It's all about giving yourself a space of one hour each day during the five working days of the week in dedicating that time deliberately and consciously towards practice and learning. This basically means that during that hour, you will commit to giving your full attention into learning and developing yourself. During this almost sacred time, you must be completely free of work, tasks, or distractions. Once you have designated a time for your learning period, you must commit to it. Allow me to present you with three different actions that will nurture your path towards success. Explore them and combine them, but the main goal is for you to set your own personal system. The first action is reflection. Reflection is a fundamental concept when learning. Acquiring too much information without reflecting on it is like eating a whole feast without being able to digest it. You will feel overwhelmed if you do not get used to assimilating the information you consume. You will realize that by reflecting any new information you acquire, you will be able to better understand it and apply it into your life. Once you incorporate reflection as a learning habit, it's important that you create a structure that will allow you to focus on the essential concepts. This will not only help you understand them better, but will allow you to avoid distracting yourself. I recommend keeping a journal to help you translate your thoughts into concrete and defined ideas. This will help you keep a written documentation on how your mindset evolved over time. In the future, go back to your notes and you will be able to interconnect your thoughts from the past with present discoveries and further develop these ideas into the future. Always mark the date and purpose of each reflection session. Your main goal should be to articulate these thoughts and see how you connect ideas. The second action is reading. Reading is an essential habit for anyone who wants to nurture their knowledge and walk forward into the path of success, both personally and professionally. In a previous video, I went through the benefits of reading, but allow me to remind you one of the main points. Books are the best tools to access new knowledge and understand better whichever topic you prefer. By reading books, you will learn about the world, about people, about our history. But mainly, you will find that you are learning about yourself. Reading gives you the power and the necessary tools to solve any problem you might encounter and will help you to achieve your goals and dreams. Get used to always having a book with you. Take advantage of the fact that we are right in the middle of the digital age where you can have a whole library available inside your pocket. Set yourself with objectives that will help you have control over your goals. For example, how many books do you want to read per year? How many pages do you want to read per day? How many authors do you want to read per month? Remember that the more precise and clear your goal is, the better chances to reach it. No matter what you want to achieve in life, reading will always be a wonderful ally. The third action is experimentation. If you want to make real progress, there's no better way to learn than by acting. In the five-hour rule mantra, it's important that you test whatever new theories or ideas that you develop. A lot of people get stuck all their lives because they do not have the confidence to put their ideas into practice. However, all the great inventions in history are the product of experimentation. By innovating, you are entering uncharted territory where you might come up with solutions that you previously had not considered. Experimenting will allow you to perfect practices and theories that you have read, reflected, and are ready to put into action. Experimentation might pose a greater resistance than the other two actions. Reflection and reading help you build your knowledge and confidence. However, experimentation is accompanied by a greater risk. Despite that, it's important that you experiment and take all your plans into action. 
Think of an architect building a house. You can spend months developing the plans, researching the best construction techniques, and drawing visual perspectives, but if you never build the house, all that work will be for nothing. Put the methods you have acquired to the test and dedicate yourself to experimenting. So basically, the five-hour rule mindset means that you will commit yourself into dedicating one hour each day to develop your learning through these three actions. Let me share with you the five skills that you must focus on mastering to apply the five-hour rule correctly. The first is learning to identify knowledge with value. There are literally thousands of topics that you can learn. When you enter a bookstore, you notice that there are books on psychology, economics, science, religion, philosophy, finance, personal development, culture, and literature on mystery, adventure, suspense, and love. Truly, there is a lot to choose from. Therefore, it's important that you reflect the following question. What do you value most in your life? After you honestly answer this question, you will know what knowledge has value to you. The second is to master that topic. Once you have identified what knowledge you want to acquire, it's important that you focus on learning as much as you can about it. At first, do not seek to be an expert in thousands of areas. Instead, become a master in that which you value the most. Afterwards, develop the skills that are connected to that topic. And do not forget to put your newly acquired knowledge into action. It's important that you experiment to master any specific area. The third is learning how to communicate the value of your skills to other people. We live in a socially interconnected world, so it's important that we know how to transmit our knowledge and practices to the rest of society. Sharing your knowledge will test the value of what you have learned and by receiving feedback from other people, you will be able to know if what you are doing has value to others. Let's set the example of an artist. By participating in competitions and exhibitions, he can measure his abilities and get feedback from other people. The fourth skill is understanding how to monetize knowledge. You must find a way to transform what you have learned and developed into financial resources to support and boost your purpose. It's important that you understand that knowledge can be sustainable and if applied correctly, should allow you to make a living out of it. Here you have several options. You can build a business, boost your career, or apply your knowledge to receive a raise. You can also become a consultant who assists people who value your knowledge. Finally, the fifth skill is mastering the art of learning. Our time will always be our most valuable yet finite source. So it's important that you master how to learn more quickly and effectively. Keep in mind that you can read 10 or 50 books in a year. It all depends on your ability to learn. The speed and efficiency with which you learn new concepts will give you more opportunities to succeed in whichever goal you set your mind to. Before we wrap this video up, I want to give you a word of advice. It's quite easy to create excuses. Life is full of external distractions that saturate our schedules and limit our perspective. You may think that there are too many things to do, which leaves you with no time to learn. However, if you are here watching this video, it means that you are one of those few who really wants to keep moving forward. So do not give in to excuses. I invite you to commit to the five hour rule and stick to your routine for five days of the week. Remember that this is the time to focus and do not let yourself get distracted. You will notice the incredible power of this mantra when you start conquering your goals. Do not forget to apply the three main actions that will boost your routine, reading, reflecting, and experimenting, and work consistently on the five skills that will get you the results you are looking for. Let's go through them one last time. One, identify knowledge with value. Two, master that topic. Three, learn how to communicate it to other people. Four, monetize your knowledge. Five, master the art of learning. If you're ready to implement the five hour rule, leave your comment below. Which of the three actions do you think will be easier for you and which will be the hardest? Have you mastered any of the five skills we shared with you? No one can do the work for you. In this video, you have received a proven methodology to ensure continued growth, but it all depends on the attitude you decide to take. We're coming to the end of this video, and it's easy to slip back into old habits, but take advantage of the momentum you generated today and start a real change in your life. Now is your chance to apply everything you've learned and build the path to success. So, how are you going to act? Are you prepared to make a personal commitment to adapt maximum responsibility in your life and to apply the five-hour rule? The next 10 years of your life will depend on how you answer this question. Wait, before you continue with your next big project, don't forget to subscribe to Full Insight. If you like our content, please share with a friend or a family member that might benefit.
Until next time.